three hours. We got our chai, and you should bring your chai too. It's 99 degrees. We're sitting outside drinking chai. Hot chai. <laughs> True Indian. We wanted to feel like we're in India while we answer these questions. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so I feel like I'm standing on the seashore at low tide and just barely getting my feet wet a little bit. A little bit. Um, I personally am not ready to like jump into the ocean, the YouTube world, 100% yet. Um, so I'll answer questions as I feel comfortable answering. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay. CC asks, how many sisters and brothers does Amy have? I have one brother. And no sister? No sisters. <laughs> I always wanted a sister, but yeah. What is her story and where is her family? So my brother lives in Indiana. He's married with three children and my parents are in North Carolina. I grew up in North Carolina, in the Western North Carolina area, born and raised. Imogen Thomas asked this question, where are you staying now? Will you return to North Carolina? Yes, we are staying right now with my brother in Dallas, Texas. So my brother here, uh, so we came straight from India here. So now we just staying uh, here with my brother and then we'll go to North Carolina. Yeah, we don't know yet when, but we will. Oh, you're looking in the back. There's a monkey behind me. <laughs> <laughs> right here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, Hope declared ask, what's Amy's favorite Indian food? That is a really hard question because I love everything. I don't yeah. I don't think I have a favorite. Oh, well, I do like kebabs. I like I love dal. I know that sounds really just simple. Um, but I really, I love dal, and I could eat that every single day. I like enchiladas. <laughs> <laughs> but I like everything, I really do. Um, what's Arun's favorite American food? Hmm. Okay, in American, I can say... Uh, burger? Meatloaf. <laughs> and... Bur I like burger, we, li we, we just had last night you burger. Like and, uh, what else? Yeah, I do like this because uh, I don't, don't know what is I don't know what is really typical American I know. food. Yeah, it's hard to decide which one, but these two are my favorite. Jane Barber asks, "How did you meet?" So we met in India. She was uh, English teacher, and I was working that with for the same organization. So that's how we met, and our friends connected us uh, mm -hmm. like uh, arrange and love marriage. So that's how we met. Yeah. yeah, that was in 2010, by yes. the way. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah, long time ago. Yeah. That was 10 years ago. Healing Acres ask, Arun, has your dad been blind since birth or how did he lose his eyesight? No, my dad uh, was not blind from his childhood. He was 50 or 51 years old and he had a cataract, some, uh, you know, doctor did some mistake and that's how he got blinded. He got infection and got blinded. So he's completely blind right now. Mm -hmm. And one more question from the same person. Are there other members of your families that are Christians? Yes, my whole family are Christian. My, I have only one sister, one brother. They both are Christian and their families are Christian. And my pr uh, parents are Christian. Yeah, Arun is second generation. Yes. I guess, right? Second generation. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, Charlie Hoos asks, how long have you been married? So we just celebrated our 10 year anniversary this past March. Yeah, in India, uh, in mountain in India. So you can watch that video also. Yeah. And Charlie also asked, Amy, do you cook? Yes, I do. Or better yet, who does most of the cooking for your family? <laughs> well, when you're married to a chef, why not let him cook? Someone who, who loves to cook, who enjoys it, and so I let him. Yeah, I like to create new recipes, so I like to. Growing okay, generation. Okay, so Growing Generation Homestead asks, Arun, what have you most liked about living in America? And and the second half question is for Amy. So mo I will answer first. Uh, what do you have most liked about living in America? I mm. think 
It's, I don't know. It's it's, it's hard uh, question. What I most like in America, I think. Uh, I think maybe like like driving here is like very peaceful and very like. Uh, well, not in Dallas. Not in Dallas, yeah. <laughs> but still. Or Washington or New York. And also because. <laughs> Living in America, especially Western North Carolina, I like that side is a mountain and nice and green. And I think one thing also, yeah, I think one more thing, you can easily find everything, you know, whatever you need it. Like this, like kind of, uh, what do you call, easy life. I do like that, but I don't want that all the time, but like I do like that. Otherwise, most living, yeah, convenient. Convenient. Yeah, yeah, convenience. And then the next question was, same person, what most did you like about living in India? That's a hard question because I love so much about India. I love the food, I love the people, I love the culture, I love the atmosphere, the environment, I love how old everything looks, the architecture. Um, this is a question from Drews. Arun, any considerations on becoming an American citizen in the future? So, uh, yeah, maybe. I, I am like thinking Think. about that right now. Actually, this is the right question on right time. Because <laughs> right now, this minute, this, not this minute, like this time, we are, I was just like, I'm just thinking about that. I'm just thinking to uh, become American citizen. I think it's going to make it easier for us to stay in India longer. Because otherwise, right now I have to come back every six months. So that's why we are here. Otherwise, otherwise we'll stay in India longer. Yeah. Uh, taking care of my mom will be easier. So, yeah. Um, what are some of the challenges on having to juggle between the U.S. and mm -hmm. India? For example, child education, work, finances, etc. I feel like India is a lot easier. Cheaper. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot cheaper I mean you can't find Legos yeah you can't find Legos um, I feel like India is a lot cheaper it's a slower pace of life um, it's very relational very relationship oriented so man is so easy like you can manage like or just so easy. yeah you can adjust very easily I love it that people will just drop what they're doing at a moment and help you do something um, I love it that people show up at your door without calling um, and you can show up also. Yeah, and you can show up at their door also. You don't have to call or make an appointment a month in advance. You just show up. I really love all these things about, <coughs> about Indian culture. Um, mm. That didn't really answer the question, though. What are some challenges? I think the ch one challenge that I see is now that Azariah is getting older, um, going back and forth seems harder for him. He struggled a lot on this last trip. I think just like different behavioral things came up a lot. Um, when he was younger, he used to, I mean, he wouldn't even skip a beat, but I feel yeah. like now that he's older, um, it's a little bit more challenging for him, so. But he's still very adjustable. He is, and he so loves easy it. Going, uh, yeah. He loved travel. So Dragonfly Sky asking, uh, how's my how's my mom's doing and do you homeschool your son yes we do homeschool our son so she's a teacher and mm -hmm. so we carry all all the homeschool material with us wherever we go mm -hmm. so so easy and that way and we follow the curriculum also my mom she's doing so much better right now mm -hmm. thank you for asking and thank you for your concern about my mom mm -hmm. and we we talk mm -hmm. on we talk almost every day uh, with her and we watch we do video calls so she's mm -hmm. doing much better hello here we are again with our chai so this is our second day answering this question mm -hmm. uh, because yesterday we did some question and mm -hmm. today we're gonna do rest of the question mm -hmm. uh, and whatever we can do and tomorrow is sunday so tomorrow we have to have to upload this video so and we have chocolate chip cookie gluten free dairy free <laughs> Uh, because uh, yesterday was very so they hot. Don't melt in this heat. <laughs> yeah, because it was hot yesterday, even today also. But it's not s terrible. So we're trying to answer question uh, like in two 
Exciting. Meza Mac wants to know, have you been homeschooling your son during your time away? Yes, we have. Well, I have. So, okay, so Barb, Sabrino, asking where will you finally settle? Good question. We don't know. <laughs> we don't Plain know. Plain and simple. <laughs> yeah. So, but we like to visit North Carolina and India, so we go back and forth. So that's kind of like we mm. basically, you know, <laughs> do and you will follow us so you will know more. Yeah. Mrs. Pink 64 is asking homestead soon? <laughs> uh, it's a good question. We love to have our own homestead because right now we don't know where. Mm. Um, I don't know if it's India or in America, North Carolina, you know, we don't know. So right now I can say we don't know exactly, but we love to have, you know. Jilly D asking, what are your plans for the next 12 months? So our next 12 months plans, we that's are... That's a good question. <laughs> that's a good question, but actually we have uh, a few like, you know, uh, what do you call paperwork to do for our... We have to renew our passport. We have to work mm -hmm. on our documents. So it's, because these days, these are taking so long. So I think next 12 months. And plus, definitely I might, I'm going to do some work also you know, part-time and some other job uh, for our living. Linda is asking, is it safe to tour India? Yes, <laughs> it is safe yeah. and very fun and adventurous. And I encourage anyone who wants to go to India to do it. Yeah, but the one thing actually we have to be wise also anywhere, yeah. you know, even America, if you are or even India, anywhere. You have to be very wise, you have mm -hmm. to be very careful, like, you know, you have to be uh, aware of things, mm -hmm. you know, where to go, where not to go, and what time, you know, so that's, you have to be like, you know, yeah. be careful. Yeah, and I would also just add, if you're a female, I would add dressing appropriately, that's mm. huge, I feel like. Oh yeah, that's huge, yeah. So. KMC, Quack is asking, did Arun ever imagine while he was growing up that he would spend so much time in the U.S.? Yes, so, nope. Besides India and the U.S., do you ever dream of being in any other nations? I think we both like to go to uh, Middle East side, you know, to like... Good answer. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> so we like to go there and travel and yeah. discover more because there's so much history over mm. there. We like to, I like to like discover like more history, you know, artifacts and all. I'm like just love that actually. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe in the future, um, yeah. you will see that also. Yeah, I personally love the Middle East. Um, I taught English yeah. in Iraq and uh, in the West Bank of Palestine, the Palestinian region. Um, and I just love it there. The people are so hospitable and so beautiful. Sandy Lobianco is asking, I would like to know if you both use natural remedies to stay well. <laughs> yes, and I think we don't, we always use natural remedy to stay yeah. well as when we travel so see always pack enough you know vitamin c you know, when we were in india like in the winter and we are using natural remedy we have like kara you will find this recipe on my youtube we drink kara every single night mm -hmm. which is so good very healthy keep you warm because in india there's no heat so keep you warm keep you away from all this virus going on you know mm -hmm. and we never get sick there actually we were there past winter, people were getting sick, you know, cold and this, we didn't have any, even my parents, because we using natural remedies, always have those spices. You know? Yeah, I personally love natural remedies. I, I will go to a natural remedy before, above and beyond anything else. Um, unless something like... Yeah, unless it's like unless so something life-threatening. Yeah. yeah, we don't ignore that. If we have to go there, we'll go there. Um, I'd like to know more about Indian foods to keep healthy. Yeah, I would just say just incorporate more spices into your food. Um, turmeric, of course, is very anti-inflammatory. It's very good for you. Garlic is amazing. I personally take garlic capsules every day. Two garlic capsules, I think it's like a thousand milligrams twice a day. I love garlic. Um, actually, Arun was sick about like a month ago when we came from India. A couple days later, he got sick and I just pumped him full of vitamin C, garlic, and turmeric, and he only had a fever for a short time, yeah. and I feel like that really helped. Yeah. So. 
I'm nice and healthy now. Yeah. Right. Yeah, actually, a natural remedy, Indian cooking, they always they all have mm. natural spices. Thing is that how you will cook them. Mm. Sometimes Indian foods are very, but in India, like how they cook, what kind of oil they use. So that's why I always try to make uh, Indian cooking healthier way, like better, less oil and mm. good oil. You know. Yeah, I feel like Indian food can be very healthy, but it can also be very unhealthy. Yes. It's how you cook it, and it's how much oil you use, of course, um, and of course how much rice you eat with it, or how much bread. Um, yeah. yeah. Moving right along, uh, how do you guys navigate cultural issues in your marriage? Yeah, actually, <laughs> because now is we've been married last ten years, we've been married, mm -hmm. so we have lo lost Egina. But the first year of marriage was very hard, mm -hmm. if I'm honest. And but you know one thing we always uh, can urge us and navigate grace. Mm -hmm. So we give each other so much grace. Yeah. While I'm here, she knows I'm from different culture, especially in the beginning when I first came. She knows like oh it's hard for me because not same because she been in India, so she knows what the culture mm -hmm. in India look like, and I know. Uh, when she go to India, so I know what the American culture look like now. Mm. And then because first year I never been here, so harder for me to understand. But we try to give each other grace, and we still mm -hmm. try to give. We argue, you know. Mm. So in India we have a saying we call when we have all the dishes together. When you move one dish, you know, just make a noise, you know. So <laughs> same, you know, when you like two culture people live together, make noise. So. It's pretty, yeah. uh, I think it's pretty normal, but how you handle those, that's the main thing. Yeah. Um, my first trip to India was <coughs> almost 20 years ago. I started going to India in 2003. <coughs> um, and I had been going to India for, I don't know, off and on for almost 10 years before I ever met Arun. So I feel like I had a good understanding <coughs> of the culture, although I would never ever say that I know everything about India because yeah. even he doesn't know everything about India so yeah I'm still learning <laughs> but I feel like I don't know I feel like we don't struggle with cultural issues I feel like our main issue is probably just communication in general which I think the same can be said for most couples yes. guys and girls operate so differently we think differently yes. what's important to women is different than what's important to men I mean I think it's just yeah. So what something is this for a good marriage? You have to die for yourself. Mm. So we have to die for ourselves. You know, don't just think about me, my rights, and I'm the man, or I'm the woman. You know, it's not like, yeah, we both are weak and people. Mm -hmm. We are weak people. You know, we are not perfect. I'm not saying we are perfect or anything. Mm -hmm. We, yeah, we are weak people, weak person, but we try to give each other grace. Mm -hmm. That's the main. Uh, my advice also. Mm. Um, Sudhir765k is asking, how is Amy coping with the living conditions in India? Well, obviously we're not in India right now, but when we are there, I like to think I cope okay. I mean, I yes, love that. Yes, do a, a good there sometimes. Sometimes hard, mm -hmm. but here also same time, sometimes hard also. So we like, you know, she does, she do very good, especially like, I mean, uh, in the village, we don't have, uh, Something she needed, like you know, mm. some something is hard. But now these days, like everything is like pretty modern. You can get online <laughs> everything yeah. in the village too. But like you know, even before, but she managed okay. And we try to manage. We trying to like you know, do things according to like what we have there. You know, mm. so we try to manage. Colorado FL girl is asking, what's your least favorite American dish? <laughs> you know what? least favorite I don't because uh, you know because I cook so even American dish I cook so I always cook uh, I'm even American food I do with Indian twist so it's like <laughs> is this turned out to be very good so oh you're not a big fan of chili yeah I like I wouldn't chili. say that's your least favorite but you're not yeah. a big, you could live without it right? yeah I can live without it but I I can eat it also it's not like oh I cannot eat yeah you're yeah, thinking. for food, I don't say I don't want it. I don't say I hate food, you know, because there's so many people who don't have food. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever we have, we serve, we eat, thankfully, you know. I like biscuit. 
<laughs> but not gravy. Uh, I love biscuit actually. I like biscuit. I can eat biscuit with the butter. Oh, so but not good. biscuits and gravy, huh? Yeah, not biscuit and gravy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Leroy Brown is asking, what do each of you miss or not miss about the United States? I don't really miss America when I'm not here, except a bathtub. I yeah. love nice yeah. Epsom salt bath, and yeah, you don't get that. In but here. if you're in somewhere in a hotel or you know, mm -hmm. you can get bath there, but. Here you can get bathtub every, everywhere, no? every house has bathtub, so, so see like Epsom salt bath. And, I don't, and for me, I don't think I miss, if I'm in India, I don't miss anything yeah. from here. If I'm here, I do miss like, especially like people, friends and family, because we always like meeting, coming mm -hmm. together, eating together so mm -hmm. much, you know, doing things together. That's what I miss. We try to do here, but it's not the same. What do you enjoy most about India? Friends. Yeah, and food, togetherness, you know, meeting mm. together. Yeah. Oh, this is Tracy, Leroy's wife. I see now. <laughs> oh, what is it that I enjoy most about India? It's hard to pick just one thing. Um, one thing I really enjoy, I feel like India is entertaining, mm. like, all the time. Yeah. You know, if you're, ri if you're going on the highway or if you're riding on the motorcycle to go somewhere, there's so much to look at. I mean, there's elephants walking by, there's Camel. camels walking by, Good. there's monkeys playing in the trees, you know, <laughs> there's, there's a million things going on at the same time. And I enjoy that. I, I enjoy, I feel like I'm just watching a movie. And I also yeah. say it's like a video game. Um, I feel like I'm just yeah. like, it's you know, the, it's like, in the city. You know, like this last trip, Azariah I would always say, I'm so bored in the car. And one of our friends said, bored, how can you be bored? Look outside, just watch this movie, you know? And it's so true, and I just love that. Like, it is like a movie. It's like you're watching a movie. There's just so much going on. Yeah. And yeah, that can be exhausting, but I do really enjoy that. I mean, that's just like a superficial answer, but I like so many things. Will you return to the U.S.? Yeah, we're here. <laughs> yeah, we are in, we're uh, in Dallas, US, in Dallas yeah. Texas. Okay, Dana is asking, Amy, what is your favorite dish that Arun cooks? Everything. <laughs> I don't have a favorite. Gosh, I'm not the type of person to have favorites of anything. What? What? Eggplant. Oh, yeah, your eggplant. He makes the best eggplant. I love eggplant, and Arun's eggplants are delicious. Arun, what is your favorite dish that Amy cooks? Chicken enchilada, <laughs> all from scratch. Yeah, I like That's why I like it more. Jean Shannon is asking, what is your secret to a long and healthy relationship and marriage? I feel so underqualified to answer this kind of question. We've only been married 10 years. I mean, I think for me personally, I think, well, yeah, you did say give each other lots of grace, but I think also it's important to walk in forgiveness with each other. Yeah. Um, from the beginning of our marriage, we've always made it a point, for example, if I hurt Arun, to make it a point to say, I'm sorry, and then to hear from him, I forgive you. And then I, I feel like there's so much power in forgiveness. Mm -hmm. There's so much power in hearing the other person say, I forgive you, and to know that it's finished. Mm -hmm. um, also, sometimes uh, it doesn't happen right away. Sometimes it happens right away. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't happen right away. So sometimes it takes time. For me, it takes a little bit of time mm -hmm. to ask forgiveness and say, I forgive you, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's good to take some time. Don't be, you cannot answer right away. Mm -hmm. Because don't be like such in a hurry in this relationship because sometimes we cannot make quick decision right away. Like sometimes we are angry or upset, so we might make worse than better. So just wait and take your time. How do you deal with disagreements? We don't ever have any disagreements. <laughs> just joking. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think there's a disagreement like you're gonna have you know forever all mm -hmm. of your life so you just need to like figure out how you can come together in one place where you both like you know both will be angry with this sometimes mm -hmm. i will say no this way she will say no this way but we say let's see how we can work and come in the middle like you know but like we don't live according to american culture or according to indian culture yeah. Like, yeah, we've merged these two cultures together in our marriage, but we yeah. don't live according to that. Like, yeah. I don't live according to Indian culture, and he doesn't live according to American culture. Like, we live according to God's culture. You know, our marriage and our parenting and our lives and our relationship, everything is based mm -hmm. on the Word of God. And 
you know, his kingdom and his culture. Did you agree or disagree on which way the toilet paper goes on the hanger? <laughs> we never did this one. Either. No, we didn't. Not oh. the toilet paper, but yeah. I will say our first year of marriage, I remember one day I was washing the dishes and I put them in the dish drainer. In India, yeah. The, yeah, this was in India. And I put the dishes in the dish drainer and Arun came behind me and started rearranging them. I said, what are you doing? And he said, oh, this is how we do it here. Mm -hmm. And I got so hurt and so offended and... <laughs> so you got mad that time and I said, oh. Yeah, I mean, that led to, you know, an interesting argument, argument but... <laughs> So no, it wasn't toilet paper for us. It was dishes in the drain in the dish drainer. Yeah. And Lucy Diaz Colon mm. is asking, does your son like India or America better? I think he's very like good. One thing like when we go to India, he enjoy. He love there. He just play. He just do like whatever we do there. And when we come to America, he love mm -hmm. here too. So he's like, wherever he go, he love. You know, he like that. You know. Okay, Arun, when did you come to the U.S.? Oh, Bonnie Guffey is asking that. When did you so come to the US? That was uh, 2013. I think it was November. We came when you were, uh, she was pregnant. Yeah, I was 36 weeks pregnant with Azariah yes. when we flew to the US. Yeah. And the reason we came so late is because we were in the process of uh, getting a green card for Arun. And it yeah. just so happened that everything got approved at the end of my pregnancy. and. I really wanted to give birth here, just so my mom could be there. So we ended up flying here at 36 weeks, and that was fun and interesting. Yeah. Um, the flight was okay, but I didn't realize that once I got here, how hard of a time I would have finding a doctor who would take me at yeah. that late stage. Um, but I don't even remember how I found this doctor back in North Carolina, and she was amazing. Oh yeah. She was so amazing, Doctor. No, they all were name? like everybody was so name? great. Like they yeah. like Spearman, Doctor Spearman. Yes, yes, she was amazing. Um, yeah, so that worked out. One thing I just know, because we go India, we try to go India every like after every two years. Like mm -hmm. after two years, we trying to go there, and uh, that's how we left last year mm. to visit. When we go, we always try to go for six months because you spend so much money. And you know, you don't want to like just go for a week or two weeks. This time was like perfect timing. Mm -hmm. We can say this is God timing. We were there when my mom got diagnosed with cancer and oh, yeah. otherwise I don't know what will happen, you know? Yeah, actually we were supposed to be in Nepal at around the time, our last three months of the trip, we were supposed to be in Nepal. Yeah. And then there was like some issues between COVID at that time and Nepal completely shut the borders and we weren't able to go. And we were like struggling to think like, why are we not going? Like, why is this not happening? Mm. And then Arun's mom got diagnosed with cancer and we were like, oh, like, okay. So it just all worked out. Having a child and wanting to offer the best of both cultures, mm. though the philosophy guiding these cultures are vastly different, how do you do this? Are there books, movies, websites, clubs, which help with that education? How do you explain the polytheism of Hinduism, the stories, fables, and myths? What emphasis do they play in his education? I think because the, I think one thing I would say we use Bible mm. and we go according to the, and plus because I grew up in India, I studied in a public school, so I learned. In public school, if you go, you learn so much about Hinduism, like all the, you know, step and you, so this e makes it easier for me to mm. like understand and uh, explain Azraya and Actually, I'm like planning to write book in Hinduism. I have a little bit like two page. I have wrote this and I have teach. Sometimes I teach also in America and people invite me. So help us to like, you know, explain Azraya also. Like. Yeah, I think also like we don't specifically like use any books or movies or yeah. websites or anything like that. I think, for example, when we're in India, <clears throat> you know, India is a Hindu nation and you can see it from the minute you step off the plane. I mean, it's literally the influence of Hinduism is everywhere. And so he will ask a question like, oh, mommy, why is there flowers around that tree? Or why is, you know, why is this like that? Or why is this like that? So, you know, we use like, the world is the classroom, you know, we're yeah. using what he's seeing as an example and as a way to teach him, okay, this is what this is and this is what it means and this is why 
people worship the cow or you know something like that for example yeah, I hope yeah. that answers the question the question from Seeker, uh, B. Seeker B she said it can be hard enough to work these differences out even if you marry your lifelong next-door neighbor let alone someone coming from halfway around the world with both having a Christian background do those common values take precedent over traditions thus making the potential differences less dramatic yes mm. it's very true mm. that's that's I'm telling you this makes whole like lot different like day and night difference you know thank you guys for your question and those are really good question and yeah do you want to say anything um yeah just thank you for your questions thank you yeah sorry if we didn't get to your question um yeah you guys ask a lot of really good questions and if we answered all of them this would be a really long video and we didn't want to make it too long so yeah maybe next time in the future we'll do this again sometime yeah so yeah thank you thank you for watching yeah because you guys watch this encourage me to make a uh, new videos more video mm -hmm. thank you guys <laughs>